Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I am Frank Bruno. I'm an elder law and estate planning attorney in New York. Today, I would like to speak uh, to the parent that has a college age child, anyone that has uh, a student in college. So as a parent of a senior in high school, uh, we've been going uh, to visit colleges. Uh, we've been looking them up online and uh, my senior age son uh, has been applying uh, to colleges. So uh, I know that it's a, uh, uh, a stressful time for the, uh, for the child uh, and it also gives uh, some stress to the parent. So uh, although uh, I deal with elder law issues, uh, the issues, there are <laughs> certain uh, cross section uh, of the documents that we use for uh, certain elder law uh, situations that can be applied uh, for the college age student. So when a, uh, a child goes off to college, uh, some are 17, but many are 18 years of age. And in the eyes of the law, in most states, at least in New York, uh, a child is no longer a child and they are an adult at the age of 18, right? They can vote, they can join the military, they could get married on their own. Uh, they can't drink, uh, at least legally, but they can, uh, they have all of the, the other um, indications of uh, adulthood. So if certain documents are not in place, a parent uh, will lose uh, access to information for that now adult child. Uh, at 18, you don't really feel like they're an adult, uh, but in the eyes of the law, they are. So uh, when a child is off at college, a parent uh, should have a power of attorney for the child uh, that allows them, I've explained it uh, previously, but it's a document that allows a person uh, to stand in the uh, shoes of the other person with respect to financial decisions. Uh, another document, a very useful, important document would be uh, a healthcare proxy, uh, or in some states, a uh, power of attorney for health related issues. Uh, this would allow someone to stand in the uh, shoes of another person uh, and direct uh, medical attention or have access to providers. Um, the adult child also needs a third document would be a HIPAA release, H-I-P-A-A. -A. It's a HIPAA release. It's a document that uh, permits, it authorizes uh, doctors and medical providers to provide um, uh, information uh, to, whoever, to whoever is uh, uh, listed on the form. Uh, so even if a parent uh, has the child on their uh, health benefits, uh, pays for their uh, the pharmacy bills or the medical bills, um, that parent is not provided access to the information uh, in the absence of a HIPAA form. And then the final document, uh, I mean, we could certainly uh, talk about other documents, but this is the fourth of four that I wanna talk about today. Uh, there's a waiver that's signed pursuant to the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act waiver, right? Family Education Rights and Privacy Act waiver. So you could get this from your student's college. Uh, you could look it up online. And it's a form that allows a parent to see the grades uh, of their child, right? Uh, absent this form, even if you're paying for the tuition, um, you do not have access to the, uh, to the records. So if you'd like to discuss uh, anything related to uh, documents necessary for children in school, please reach out to me. Uh, I can be reached at uh, my website, callfrankbruno.com, or you could uh, look at the website, frankbrunolaw.com. Thank you very much.